In 2016, Zero Zero Robotics launched Hover Camera. It was one of the first drones to appear on the shelves in Apple stores and it sold pretty well. Today, Zero Zero Robotics have revealed a trailer for their new drone, Hover 2. Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On, and indeed this trailer just went live a few hours ago. Before we jump into the analysis, let's just look at that trailer. The hover camera. Here's the camera. Here's the camera. Here's the camera. So first of all, what are your thoughts on that trailer? Comment below whilst you're watching this video and of course hit that subscribe button as well. So the first thing about that trailer is it really doesn't tell us a whole lot. However, it does give us some imagery of the drone. But of course, with the darkness of the lighting, it's intentionally meant to be a bit of a teaser, not giving away too much. But we've spotted some details that I think you might find interesting. So first of all, the trailer really does point towards flying itself and AI, artificial intelligence. So we do think that that rather odd hammer looking object on top of the drone might be some sort of central sensor repository. So probably packed with sensors that can make the drone aware of its surroundings, a bit like the VIO technology that we saw on Mark drone in our review not long ago. The original hover camera was very much square, whereas this new design is clearly much more rounded. In fact, the cage is no longer pointed on the edge it's now smoothed over and in addition the wings of the drone in other words the two folding halves rather than folding down flat now actually curve slightly upwards and I think that that's probably going to help this drone to have a little bit more forward speed in essence they become essentially wings rather than just prop cages that's going to help with efficiency and also flight time one of the main observations I have is that the original hover camera didn't have a mechanical gimbal. You could tilt the camera up and down, but that didn't help the stabilization, which was EIS. However, if we change the lighting on a screen grab from this video, we can see distinctly that this new drone looks to have at least a two axis gimbal, maybe a three axis gimbal. So therefore it's gonna be on par with either the DJI Spark or possibly the Mavic Air. Throughout the trailer, there is no sign of a transmitter, however, and so it looks like this might be like the original hover camera in that it's controlled entirely by your smartphone. Hover 2 launches on November the 14th, and there's just a few hopes that I have for this new drone in order for it to succeed in the market. I'd like to see it being under 250 grams, or at least at 250 grams, although that is asking quite a bit, considering the size of the original hover camera and also the technology that hopefully is gonna be packed into this new model. I'd love to see a flight time of at least 20 minutes. That might be asking a bit too much, but I think to compete in the market now, drones need to have at least that kind of flight time. A mechanical gimbal, as we've mentioned, is already there, we believe, but at least a 4K camera would be nice. We don't always need to shoot 4K, but if you're editing video, then you really do appreciate having the extra resolution there so that you can pan and scan and zoom in the editing process. And of course, price is also key. The original hover camera is still retailing at about $399, which is about 300 pounds. To compete with the Spark and the Mavic Air, I think that this drone has to be around the same price, although less would be better. However, the association with Apple generally means that the price of product goes up. So we will have to just wait and see. What do you think about Hover 2 from what you've seen so far? Comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, click that subscribe button. Feel free to comment on their video and ask them to send one to Droning On. Thanks very much for watching.